what up guys hope everyone's having an amazing day um i'm gonna be showing y'all how to make a coon trap foothold trap cowdy trap whatever you want to catch in it um mine is already set in the ground the sun is shining right on me anyway mine is already set in the ground um not really wanting to dig it up, but we're going to be going around, setting all kinds of traps, stuff. Um, they're already set, some of them. The rest, I'm going to move them because they're in bad spots. Um, but first, we're going to come right over here. It's really windy. Or not, well, uh, not windy, sunny. Which is hot. Who doesn't like the sun? Anyway, so I built this. It's a circle of, um, like, limbs and cedar limbs and stuff. I built this yesterday. There's a center in it like this. I built this because I can cowardy hunt out of it. Um, I mean, if you were sitting here, I have all that woods. So you might get scrolling out of it. Um. You could definitely turkey hunt out of it. Fingers muddy. Um, and you can literally hunt anything you want out of this besides deer. That might not work. I mean, it is kind of crappy. But I mean, a squirrel, it's not going to care what you're setting in. But you don't really set and blinds and stuff for squirrel hunting. But we're going to try it out in one video. See how that does. But anyway, I'm going to show you my dirt hole set right here. So, right here it is. Like, right in there is the trap. Right there is the stake. Hold on. Yeah, right there you can see it. That right there. I'm not going to be showing y'all how to set it. Um, that's going to be in a different video. I'm going to be showing y'all what I use, how I stake it down, and just stuff like that. So... First, we have a swivel, so that way if I do catch something, it can turn around, have fun. Um, this is a stake for nothing can pull this out of the ground. Like, I have to dig them up when I pull them out. Um, it has a, like, plow. Like, if you're familiar with post, post hole diggers, it's kind of what it has on the end of that. You screw it down the ground halfway, and then you start hammering. And then they cannot pull that up. I've never trapped anything in with this um, stake, but I've tried. Nothing can pull that up. Um, I use a till I get the right tool for this. Um, I just don't want to buy one. I use a little five-pound sledgehammer, and I use a pickaxe. Use a pickaxe. Um, for digging the hole. And if y'all hear that noise in the background, someone is chainsawing down there. No idea what that is. Alright, we're gonna walk on down here. Sorry about the wind, too. Good grief. I pro you probably can't hear it, but it's pretty windy. Probably one reason I'm not squirreling today or not killing anything. Well, we're gonna walk right down here. And I'm gonna show y'all my live trap um set which is a cage trap um that tree right there's dead so you know what that means timber oh my uprooted that baby now i won't get slapped in the face every time i ride down through here or if it's windy and i'm just riding down through here that tree could fall on me but anyway Walking on down here, yeah, the wind is really bad. It's blowing me away. I'm just kidding. If that was, probably would not be out here setting traps for you guys. Because I would not want to be blown away just to set my traps. Um, This one trap down here is set. I had to reset it if the door fell down on it because springs are messed up on it we gotta fix those really every time you catch a coon in a cage trap get ready because 
you, it's gonna break somehow. You'll have to fix it. I've already, this is like my second one I've had to fix. Okay, so right here it is. Just a little old cage trap. Um, I put a pile of cat food or dog food. Sometimes I use corn in here, back here, behind the plate. Make sure it's behind the plate or they'll walk in here, eat it, and then they'll just walk out without getting caught. Um, and then right here I put a few kernels or whatever you're using right there um, just to get their attention like like a, say, like a free sample. Like... Say you're walking in the Sam's Club and you're like, "Ooh, I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat that food because I'd never had it before." Coons are kind of like that. They don't want to try the food until they've had it before. So that they walk up there, kind of like the Sam or the sample things on Sam's. Walk up there, get you a sample. You're like, "Hmm, that's good." You go and you're like, "I'm gonna buy that." There. On their case, it's like, hmm, that's good. I'm going to go in there and eat that. Have more of it. So, I mean, that's why I put samples out. Just because it'll... They're not used to that food, which they aren't. Unless you feed your coons or possums or whatever you're trying to catch out in your yard. But, I do that. Um, there's a bunch of cage traps all over the farm. But I'm not going to walk around and show you all that. We might go to another one for rabbits. Um, I'm gonna be building a rabbit trap, but until I get one built, using a cage trap. Guys, I'm out of breath. Just walked up this thousand degree hill. Um, no, I'm just kidding, it's probably 20 degrees, but it's a lot, okay? I just walked all the way down it and then all the way back up it. And I'm tired. Okay. One more thing that I do. Here's like, if you know, like, as you see right here, we have a four-wheeler trail. Um, if you know stuff like coyotes and coons and stuff are walking along this, set a trap on it. Or set a few traps on it. Um, because they probably use this. A bunch. If you see fresh tracks, I would set a trap there. Um, a few days ago, I seen some fresh coyote tracks. Coyote. People get mad at me because I say coyote. Who cares? It's a coyote, coyote, whatever it is. We could just call them yodies. I just seen a yodi over there. That sounds stupid. But anyway, these tracks walked along here, they're not here today, walked along that and then went down that trail. I'm not, I haven't baited this yet. Um, you can either build a dirt hole set or you can build a, just, I just, sometimes I build dirt holes, sometimes I just put a trap in the ground, sprinkle some food on it. You're less likely to catch a coyote then. Cow, I don't know what to call it. I'm just going to call them wild dogs. You're less likely to catch a wild dog than um, a coon or something like that. Because coons, they don't care how it's placed. They can just come eat all the food off of it and get trapped. Um, wild dogs. Wild dogs. Um, they are more particular. They're more fancy. They'd rather eat. They'd rather eat at the dinner table, I guess you could say. So, we're going to go over here and open up another trap that's shut, and I'll catch y'all then. So, yeah, this is really my dirt hole set. Not a dirt hole, that's just a set. Um, and I'll pick this back up when we get to the trap, and see y'all then. But before I go, is that a bird out there? I've got to use the camera to zoom in. My eyes can't zoom. It flew away. Okay, guys, we're back here at the new place. And I just drove by the other day to check when I was checking the traps. And I thought there was nothing in it and not everything. I um, thought the door was just shut. Nope. There is nothing in it. But the trap 
was sitting like this. And there's the dog, there's the cat food. But it was moved. That's, why is the camera not focusing? Don't know why, but I'm gonna prop y'all up. We're gonna try to set this thing back. Don't know how good y'all can see me. Oh, ow, hello? Get all these needles out of it. This is one of my old traps. I didn't know that. I thought this was one of my new traps. We're gonna scoot it on back here in the back more. Cause I don't know why, but whatever got in that was smart enough and he either got out or he wasn't having it and just wanted to get the food and he was smart enough to get the food. <laughs> no idea, but. We're gonna go over here, get the food. We're gonna bait these traps and um, I'll catch y'all in the morning checking the traps and seeing if we have anything so there's a doggy where's the doggy i'm just kidding i love dogs okay guys so we're back gonna be checking the trap line i'm here at one of them nothing um it's really early in the morning I actually don't know what time it is. Um, so, we have nothing. Um, I have a few more to go check. How many does that? One, two. I've actually already passed the dirt hole set. I don't know if you can see me right there, but. Hey, I've already actually go, went and checked the dirt hole set, and oh, we got something. They just dug up the trap. So, that is on camera. If you're a critter out there watching, you dug my trap up, get ready. You're going to on camera, boy. Nothing you can do about that, eh? Unless you stole my camera, too. Jeez. Um... We're going to go check a few more traps and then reset the um, big trap, trap, my voice cracked, we're going to reset the foothold trap and see if we can catch anything. I'll probably check them. Tomorrow in a neck in a different video because this one is getting way too long and I don't really want to edit one this long so we're gonna check up all these and then I'll get back with y'all when we're at the other traps. I'm gonna show y'all the dug up trap. Um, well, wow, someone's in your eyes right there. Okay, right here she is. Um, I don't know how the plate didn't go off. Wait, did it go off? Major voice cracks, my guys. I said we just said it again. Um, I'm going to take my gloves off because I can set it, everything here. Steak is still in the ground. Everything's still in the ground. So I can set it right here. I just need to take my gloves off. And prop y'all up. So, um, and prop y'all up on the four wheeler. Hang on. How can we do this? I guess that'll work for a second. Sorry about that view, but it fell down. Just taking my gloves off so I can actually set this trap without getting my gloves muddy. I don't care about my hands getting muddy. 
Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Wow, that's really bright. Let me set it right here. Can y'all see that? Yeah, you can see a little bit better. We're gonna take some of this dirt right here. Just Oh, that about close to my hand. Oh, I should get that big one out of there. If you're under the age of 12 or 11, probably would recommend an adult doing this with you unless you have experience with it. Well, that's not going to be enough dirt, so I'm going to prop you all up right here. And I'm going to use my pocket knife because to get more dirt because there's not enough. I don't know how good y'all will be able to see me. Hello. Um, where's the dry spot? Right here, I guess. I'm just going to shave it off. Truck camera's probably getting a bunch of pictures of me. <sighs> While I'm digging this out, you could, if you're liking the video so, so far, like and hit that like and subscribe button. That just shows you your support. And that. Uh, are you all falling down? It is. Maybe look. Ow. I guess that's good right there. No, you can't see me. That might be better. Hello. But if you're like, so that just shows your support to the channel so I can keep doing this more. Some kind of crap on my knife. And it wasn't mud. Because it was black. <laughs> Let me clean that plate off. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do something. My Ah, oh, that snotty nose. But, it's because it's so cold outside. But I'm going to do something. This plate, mine is up. It'll take a minute for you to step on it because it's so high up. I did that. That's my fault. So I'm wondering if I step on the side so it won't close on me. But what if I pull the plate down all the way till it starts trying to close? And then, that's... Just leave it there so we like a, the lightest itty bitty piece of tail or whatever steps on that, it will get caught. I'm 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 gonna do that. That was pretty hard to say. I need more mud. Don't have enough. Yo, that hurt. Oh, I can chop up all these little pieces, or these big pieces. I'm fixing to show y'all what we have over here. I'm, I'm a pro chef. I can cook a sandwich. sandwiches do you guys know what a sandwich is I don't know what a I don't know what a sandwich is but I don't know what a sand witch is Think of pro chef. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Pile this all up. Ah, ah, pile it up again. Ah, 
pile it up again and put it on the trap. That was pretty easy. Let's do that a thousand more times. You know what? I might just leave it cover uncovered. Here's what we have to do, boys. We have to step on the thing. I don't know how good y'all can see my face. But we have to step on the sides of the trap. And this is going to be a little bit tricky. But there's the trap. There's the thing. Right here's the side, and right here's the side. Okay, here we go. I hate doing this. I hate this. I hate this. Ugh! Oh. Alrighty, boys. Now, if you're a coon out here, <laughs> this time I don't show no mercy. Not at all. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Come over here. I might have to prop y'all up again because y'all are hard to get propped up. A little piece of wind comes by, you are gone. I just want to let y'all know that. Go ahead and turn that thing off. Get the cod out of it. Put the thingy back on. And then let's go home. Get some more food. Put this on the table so we can check it in a minute. And then hope oh, for the best. Put this on my big pocket. Look how fancy this jacket is. Has a pocket for all my flint. There's flint in it right now. And an SD card. But that's how big that thing is. It goes from here to here. Bam. Okay. I'll catch y'all back when we're back up here and when we have dog food or cat food or food. So, yeah. Don't really know what more to say. Hi. Bye. Again. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to prop y'all up. Get, get the food. I couldn't find the box, so I did put it in this thing. Looks like it come from GameStop. Pair of headset. Oh, that's my headset I bought. So here's what you do. Just grab a scoop. I don't know if y'all can see me. Y'all can probably see my butt. Okay. And I'm just going to sprinkle it. Put some on the plate. So I'll have to grab, I'm just going to put it everywhere, so I'll stay here for a long time, and maybe get caught. Okay, trap set, now I got to go home and edit, so... If you liked the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, slap the bell so I don't miss any more videos when I upload. Um, and stay tuned for the next video when we come and check these traps to see if we caught anything. Hey, truck hammer boys, we're going to catch that Steeler. So if you're watching, Steeler who stole my food, be prepared. The sun's my eyes.